Thanks for watching. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Thomas heading through this afternoon. We're seeing a little bit of a breeze picking up out there, making it feel pretty chilly, but temperatures climbing into the 30s and even touching 40 in some spots south. A mix of clouds and sunshine and can't rule out a spotty snow shower or flurry, but most of us stay dry through the majority of the time as we head through the rest of the day and this evening. Satellite and radar showing a couple of those light snow showers and flurries out there, but those winds Winds continue to pick up some gusts to around 30 miles per hour as we end the day. Tack that on to some of the colder temperatures that we're going to be seeing tonight, and it's going to feel downright cold. Lows tonight fall back into the teens, even some single digits up north with a mainly clear sky tonight, but it's going to feel like the single digit south, and it could even feel like it's below zero with those sub zero wind chills possible up north. Now, as we head through the weekend, all eyes are on our next potential potential storm, a winter storm that could bring some significant snow to parts of the state. The first statewide snowfall expected a plowable snow likely, especially as you head south. There's the potential for several inches of snow in parts of New Hampshire. We're still watching closely the track of this system as it starts to develop and gets a bit closer. Future cast briefly through the weekend. It arrives late Saturday night, continuing through Sunday. That's what the time frame looks like. So Saturday is the better of the two weekend days for any kind of travel. And as far as potential snowfall amounts, best chance for heavier snowfall or the highest snowfall totals with this storm will be as you head south in the state, generally south of the lakes region with lesser amounts as you head further north. So highest snowfall totals this time around will be as you head further south and then amounts will taper off the further north you go. So in the seven day forecast, as we head through the rest of our week, we see an isolated snow shower or flurry to end the day today. Then Friday, a good amount of sunshine, but breezy and chilly temperatures only around freezing. It'll feel much colder with a lingering breeze. Saturday, a quiet start to the weekend, but increasing clouds ahead of that storm system. Keeping a close eye on it, we'll continue to fine tune any of the details regarding snowfall amounts and exact track as we head through the rest of the day today and the next couple of days. Beyond that, Monday, Tuesday, a little bit of a break before our next system arrives and that could bring more of a mix with rain and snow for the middle of next week.